Now let's try an auxiliary view. We use an auxiliary view when we want to show the true size of a uh, part that's not in line with the top, bottom, or right side view. So let's choose a base view. Let's go choose a part. See if we can find a part where this would be uh, beneficial to have. Um, let's do that part. We'll say open. That's kind of small. Let's make the scale a little bit bigger. Just so we can see it. I'll make it extra large. And we'll zoom in so that we can see what's going on. Now, for instance, that's going to be our top view. And this would be our right side view. But notice, in neither of those views does it show the face, this face, in true dimension. So if we wanted to show that face in true dimension, hit Escape so we get out of projected views. And let's choose Auxiliary View. And then read what it tells us to do down here in the corner. Select a view. We're going to take this view. And it asks us to select a linear model edge to define the view orientation. We click on the line that we want and drag it up. And that would be our auxiliary view. Notice we'd use this, uh, we'd use this auxiliary view when we wanted to show um, this in full scale, this view. Because you can't do that in this view or this view because it's at an angle. Now with the auxiliary view, it's straight on and we can take measurements right off of it.